seen it ridiculous. It's sculpting cloth simulation in real time, just under your brush. Yes, it's a new brush. It's a called the cloth brush in sculpting mode in Blender 2.83. Yes, the version just keeps getting better. Last week we had some improvements in the clay, thumb brush, and some other brushes. Now the cloth brush has arrived. It has features like um, like planner fall off, so you can you can simulate in the whole uh, plane instead of just the radial fall off. It has masking. You can uh, the parts you mask out is is the ones that are gonna get pinned by the simulation. So you can do these crazy kind of things. I don't. I just just. Just insane. So how does it even work? Well, uh, you just get the latest Blender. You select your object, go to object mode, enable the cloth brush, which is here. It's called cloth, but it doesn't have an icon as of making this video because it was added like 20 minutes ago. And yeah, just, just start sculpting simulation on this cube, which is... I don't know. Is it like a like a maybe tablecloth that doesn't fit in your table? Maybe that's what you wanted. Now you can do it. It's just it just works basically. It's still a simulation, so sometimes can have like some unexpected results because see, that's how simulations work. But just just a matter of going playing with it. The uh, planner simulation, the uh, force fall off. Sorry, plane force fall off. It gives you this um, this arrow while you are sculpting that makes it go um, everything in the same direction. It's just just crazy. It even puffs these parts. It's just, just, just it's, it's cheating. Come on, this is almost illegal, like borderline illegal. These cloud simulations were supposed to be time consuming. Uh, of course, this is for modeling, but it's just, just insane. And you can, uh, <laughs> you can also apply it to characters if you want. I mean, nothing is going to judge you for that. And <laughs> I've been playing with it, and it's just the the things you can do is just just weird. Um, <laughs> you can, for example, what if you want some wrinkles here in the back? Well, you can actually just pull in and uh, you know add some wrinkles uh, behind the ear. I think uh, maybe if I use radial, goes better. Yeah, or maybe here, or maybe here. And it has different deformation modes. So drag is by default, but you can also push pinch point perpendicular, inflate, grab, and expand. So grab will just do that, for example, we'll just grab it. But what is funny though, is that <laughs> this is this is a simulation. So as long as you keep the button, like the, the, the mouse pressed, you can do crazy things like pulling parts of your, <laughs> your mesh. And if developers see me, it's like, Dear, you're not supposed to do that, Pablo, but I can, and it's Friday, it's on the weekend, so there goes my weekend, I'm gonna spend it playing on this, with this thing, it's just insane, <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, there goes my weekend, blender.org, where you download the regular blender, just go at the bottom, experimental, and download the latest build for Windows, Mac, or Linux, it's there, it's it's just got added, so expect some, uh, and some, maybe some issues, some um, crash. If it crashes, please report it. I made a video about it, how to report the bug. But uh, yeah, just go test it. It's still, we're still time uh, from the Blender, from the official 283 release. So there is time for fixing things as long as you report them. So please report any bugs, any issues that you may find. That's how we make this uh, tool like uh, rock solid. So. It's insane. Go play with it. Remember, just a reminder that this feature was added thanks to the Blender Development Fund, the, the, the program that you can get a subscription and support developers working full time in Blender. In this case, the developer Pablo Dovarro, who is hired by the Blender Foundation, thanks to the Blender Development Fund. So it's just, just, just insane. Go play with it, have fun, and uh, see you, <laughs> see you in the next video. Bye bye.